This video was made possible by Mzizi International, the official African diaspora clothing brand. Visit mzizishop.com for more information. In Senegal, at this very moment, an air of triumph fills the streets. Basiru Diomaye Faye, a 44-year-old opposition figure, stands on the cusp of ascending to the presidency of this West African nation. Remarkably, this comes mere days after his release from incarceration to contest the election. Yet, it's not just Yumaye Faye relishing in victory, the entire populace feels a sense of triumph. From exuberant gatherings to jubilant festivities preceding the official declaration, the euphoria coursing through Senegal is undeniable. Before we dive into our topic today, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channels and ringing the bell to be notified about all our exciting future videos. Fire's triumph is intriguing on multiple levels. Firstly, his recent stint in jail, just a fortnight prior to the elections, transforms his journey from prison to the presidential palace into a modern day fairy tale. Secondly, he emerges as an underdog in comparison to the more popular contenders. Lastly, at a youthful age of 44, his rise to power defies the conventional norms prevalent in Africa, where elderly leaders often dominate the political scene. Nevertheless, there appears to be a shifting tide in Africa's presidential preferences. The continent seems to tire off the status quo of elderly leaders and now seeks the vigor, dynamism, and freshness that younger candidates like Faye represent. Although the official results of Sunday's election were still pending, the former prime minister, who stood as the other leading candidate and enjoyed the support of the incumbent president Macky Sall, considered defeat based on preliminary data. Following suit, Sall extended congratulations to Faye, acknowledging him as the victor. Faye's win resonated with the youth's discontentment over soaring unemployment rates and governance issues within the West African nation. In his inaugural address as president-elect on Monday evening, the former tax inspector pledged to turn a new page, signaling a departure from the months of turmoil and numerous political detentions that preceded the election. I pledge to govern with humility and transparency and to fight corruption at all levels. I pledge to devote myself fully to rebuilding our institutions, he said, emphasizing on his promises made during his campaign. Ibrahim Traore, aged 36, and at the helm of Burkina Faso, has pledged to confront government corruption head-on. Much like Faye, Traore garners widespread support from citizens across the country. In recent years, Africa's political landscape has undergone a significant transformation, witnessing the rise of younger leaders assuming pivotal roles. Abi Ahmed, aged 46, leads Ethiopia, while Andri Rajelina, at 48, governs Madagascar. Ibrahim Traore, aged 36, spearheads Burkina Faso, and Faye, at 44, is set to lead Senegal. The surge of younger leaders isn't limited to these individuals alone. Many other young figures are stepping into prominent political roles across Africa. For instance, the outspoken Julius Malema, aged 46, of South Africa's economic freedom fighters, and Nana Bediako, aged 44, of Ghana's newly established political party, the New Force, are among those seeking to lead their respective nations. This shift of young people powerful positions carries a promise of optimism and the potential for profound change, particularly considering Africa's disproportionately youthful populations. Ensuring proper representation for this demographic becomes paramount. With a youthful president, the voices and aspirations of the youth are authentically acknowledged and comprehended. Young leaders are better positioned to empathize with the challenges confronting the generation and compassing issues like unemployment education, and healthcare access. Drawing from their first-hand experiences, they can formulate policies and initiatives directly targeting these concerns, thereby fostering youth empowerment. Moreover, their acute awareness of contemporary trends and evolving cultural norms equips them to navigate the complexities of governance effectively. The ascent of these young, dynamic leaders 
into positions of authority is gaining momentum, much to the chagrin of older politicians' intent of clinging to power indefinitely. For years, concerns have lingered regarding numerous African leaders in persistent seeking or retaining power despite age and health related challenges. Todoro Obiang Nguema, aged 81, has maintained his grip on power for over four decades, while Paul Bia has held the presidency since 1982. Similarly, Ali Bongo, ousted last year, ruled for over 50 years despite grappling with various health issues. Nigeria's Bola Tinubu inaugurated last year at 71, and Liberia's 79 year old President Bakai, who nearly collapsed during his inauguration speech, exemplified this trend. It's evident that many of these long serving leaders struggled to effect significant change in their countries. Beyond the generational gap with the youth, most of them contend with health ailments, further complicating governance and impeding progress. Infused with the vigor and novel viewpoint of younger leaders, governments throughout the continent are poised to shake up the established order and spearhead progressive policies and transformative reforms. Your perspective shapes the narrative. How do you perceive the rising prominence of younger leaders like Basiru Diomaye Faye and Ibrahim Traore in reshaping Africa's political landscape? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Are you optimistic about the potential for transformative reforms under the leadership of these dynamic, youthful figures? Would love to hear your insights. Do you believe the emergence of younger leaders will effectively address the pressing issues facing Africa's youth, such as unemployment? and access to education and healthcare, join the conversation and share your views with us. For more thought-provoking discussions and updates on Africa's evolving political dynamics, don't forget to subscribe to the New Africa channel. Your engagement is key as we navigate the path towards a brighter future together. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more enlightening content ahead.